Hugs all my friends, and welcome back to Let's Play Twilight Princess for the Nintendo GameCube. Minimal less fun. And uh, right after the last part, I went online and checked to see if the item I get from Taylor was optional or not. And it is, so I'm not going to be getting it. Uh, basically, what you get from him is the Hawkeye, and it's a little thing similar to the telescope in Wind Waker, whereas you can look at stuff from far away. So personally, well, like, technically it wouldn't be hurting anything, but I don't want any, com any complaints from people nonetheless. And if you equip it with your bow, it turns it into a little sniper rifle of sorts. So that's a little nice uh, thing. I guess. Most certainly a thing. And that letter that he just gave us is the one that Barnes was talking about with the, uh, the bomb bag, that's right. Anyway, we can also equip the bombs with the arrows as well, and make them bomb arrows. Which makes this the first game in the series to do so. Well, technically, I want to say that, but I've been told in Link's Awakening, whenever you place a bomb out and then shoot an arrow, you can make your own little quote-unquote bomb arrows in that sense. I don't know for sure, though. I haven't really tried it out myself. But it's a thing, I guess. It's most certainly a thing. But, uh... Now that we have more of Hyrusal Field open to us, you know what this means. Uh, more Twilight Real Madness. Yay. And man, it's the worst one out of all of them, too. Gosh darn it, I'm not looking forward to it. Ah. It's easily the worst part of the entire game. I don't want to go through this stupid bullcrap. I feel like, even for the bug collection, it just lasts the absolute longest out of all of them. And I don't want to be there for any longer than need be, personally. Ugh. And I said I was getting the Hillian Shield, but I'm not going to worry about that right now, because technically I don't have the monies to do so since I used it on the bomb bag itself. Uh-oh, that's no good. Well, that happened. I don't know how it happened, but it happened. It's like, literally came out of nowhere. Well, it looks like I get to take care of him on horseback, so that's yeah. something. Yeah, take that. That's my own version of <laughs> universal killing right there. Yeah, that was interesting to say the least. <laughs> Probably not how you're supposed to go about it that way, but... Alas, I did anyway. And I looked awesome while doing it. Not really, I just sort of sat th on the horse and just constantly hacked and slashed from up there safely. <laughs> What to the herbs? Get out of my way, Bacoblin. You shall taste defeat at the hands of my splintered wooden sword. Taste splinter, you joker. Well, let's do this, folks. Final Twilight Realm section of the game. Thank the high heavens! I want to get this over with. And of course, she's going to grab me and take me through there for her. Or for me. I don't know. I still don't see the point of doing that, but whatever.
Alright, it's time to go through these shenanigans again. Whatever. And don't put it like that, that I'm really gonna shut this game off. <laughs> Or is it the last of it? Come on, man. Nah, don't do that to me. I don't want to see this Twilight any more than anybody else does. Oh, man. It's time for some more scent sniffing. It looks like Ilias scent. Promise me what? Oh. Unnecessary flashback for the win. Yeah, why not? Yeah, you can only carry once at a time, really. Okay. So let's make our way through this very empty field of sorts. In fact, I'll go ahead and say my opinion on Hyrule Field right now. It's a bit big and open for its own good, but I really don't think it's as bad as people make it out to be, because at least there's, you know, heart pieces and st bugs and stuff you can find. So, in my opinion, there's a lot more to do here than um, the Hyrule Field and Ocarina of Time. Which I guess isn't saying too much, though, since this field is already bigger than the one in Ocarina of Time as is. But, I mean, it doesn't feel as dead, though. That's the thing. Like, one of my biggest problems with Ocarina of Time's Hyrule Field is that, really, there were barely any enemies or creatures there to speak of, and it just felt like a really dead environment. Here, you actually have, like, wildlife uh, stuff to explore... Uh, if you look good enough, you can find grottos that lead to hard pieces and stuff, which there wasn't too many of in Ocarina of Time. So, yeah, essentially, like, it's not the greatest Hyrule Field in the world, but I'll still take it over Ocarina of Time's Hyrule Field any day of the year. That's the way I look at it. As for, as for my opinions on Goron Mines, it's alright, I guess, but it, it, again, my biggest problem with it, well, from what I've gained and garnered anyway, is that the Iron Brute sections, I don't feel like they do a whole lot with. I mean, they do a decent amount, but then there's just like sections where you're just walking from one wall to another and see. Stuff like that tends to drag longer than it should. But, I mean, overall, I mean, it's a decent dungeon. I just wish it utilized the bow a little bit better, because, like, the Forest Temple did a pretty fantastic job utilizing the weapon. I didn't see that same extent put to use in the Goron Mines. So, essentially, I feel like Goron Mines is kind of disappointing in comparison to the Forest Temple, and it's not that it's a bad one. It just doesn't have that lived-up potential that the Forest Temple had, you know? That, and it's unusually shorter than the Forest one, but... I don't know, maybe that might just be me or something. I don't really know or care too much about <laughs> Length isn't usually the biggest issue with things, I find. So let's follow this scent here and see if we can actually find Ilya within this crowded marketplace of sorts. Yeah, this is the Hyrule Marketplace. And for those who don't remember what that is, it's basically the same Hyrule Market that was in Ocarina of Time, only much, 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 much bigger. So, yeah. But if we follow the scent over here, we should be able to find Ilya. And I don't think they'd mind us coming in here now, wouldn't they? 
And cutscene time. Or not. Or now. Game, make up your mind. Oh man, that woman looks hideous. <laughs> That's boring. Can you save him? All right, little lady, try to settle down, okay? I just now sent for the doctor. This is strange. A child of the Zoras. Wonder if this is all related to the incident the soldiers were talking about in the back. <laughs> a girl and a wolf. <laughs> Sorry, but you know how it goes. These folks can't see you either. <laughs> so, what can we do about this? Look like we can do a whole lot at the moment. So yeah, from the looks of things, Ilya is most certainly okay. But honestly, we came here mostly for this. So we need to head over to here, and we can progress the plot for great justice and engage in the worst bug collecting segment of the game. Ugh. Takes so freaking long. I'm sorry. I, I try. I do my best to remain as optimistic as possible, but at the same time, though, I mean, there are stuff I don't like in this game, and for pretty good reason. I have my reasons. Gosh, darn it. So it looks like we need to go through here. The map is super useful in this game, so be sure to take advantage of it. So weird seeing three hearts on my counter. Like throughout the entire game. I'm so used to having like seven by this point. But alas, if I collected more hard containers now, that would ruin the pur purpose of this run now, wouldn't it? And then if I get one hard container, I might as well get all the rest, and I don't know where the others are. And I don't want to waste anybody's time, but at the same time, I want to play this game again. I haven't played this game in years. It seems. I'm just kind of going for muscle memory from here on. can't do anything about that just yet. Instead, we need to make our way to the bridge. Get a nice little panning view of it. I don't know why, but alas, it's a bridge. We get it, game. The Golden Gate Bridge of Hyrule, I guess. Alrighty, so let's cross it. And we will cross it next time on Let's Play Twilight Princess. So, see you guys then.